See what you have done, man. <laughs> I knew I was going to find you here. Uh, oh, my coordinated man. Always serious with his business. <laughs> you know I love you, right? With all of me. Listen, you have to stop this. Why? Like, I've told you I don't love you. We are friends, and I like you, no doubt. But love is too deep. I, I don't, I don't feel that towards you. I don't love you. I can't keep lying to you. You deserve more than that. You know, I need to tell you. I need to be open. Stop saying you love me. I, I don't love you. But with all my heart, I love you. I love you! I love you! <laughs> leave me, leave me, leave me! I'm not doing it again! You must do! Ah, <laughs> I love chest. you! How can you say your me. chest? You're a strong man! My chest is pretty good! You're, you're a strong did. man! Your chest ah, cannot pay you! You almost small, killed me, oh! This small joke! Don't be playing like that! Ah, but you know that I love Don't be playing like that! I can't even play! Uh -huh. Let me tell you now, now! Let me tell you what I want to tell you! Uh, tell, me. tell me! Tell me! Tell me! Wait, 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 wait! Still paying me! Is this still paying you? <laughs> You're Touch stronger this than place. this now. Oh, yeah, sorry. Hey, let me. Hey. Mm -hmm. oh, come on, has, you, has it come down? Mm. Are you calm now? Forever, baby. It's forever, you and I. You and I. You're my man. I go nowhere, you go nowhere. And I go, we are stuck here together. This is more than love in Tokyo. <laughs> more than love in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love you. you, baby. Mm, thanks for you. stopping by. Yeah, I knew I would find you here. Yeah, of course, I have to and come And as usual, house. you smell. Stop me. wasting your time! This will not work. I'm trying to make you go far away from your coffin. I'm moving closer. Jeku! Run away from women! Look at the grave. I saw a woman bring you down to the coffin. Your coffin! Jeku! Run away from women! From women! Mark my words today. A woman will bring you down to the grave. God forbid. God forbid. A woman will bring you down to your grave. And by so doing, you will end up not having a successor. A successor that your family needs so badly. Joku, run away from women. If you love your future, Joku, run away from women. Run away from women. What is this now? Look at it. You have a very good business. A legitimate business. You're a good man, Joku. A really good man. But if you love your future, if you love your life, run far away from women. From women. From women. Rosalind, I was the one who told you that he is going to make you his wife. And I want you to relax. And see how everything will play out. Listen to me, Jeku may not actually be my my biological son, but he is my son. Yes, in the real sense of the word, he is my son. And I am going to be the one who will tell him the woman he will settle down with as his wife. But he has a girlfriend. And from the look of things, I think he loves her a lot. How then do you think he can break the bond between them? <laughs> I don't know where you get your words. There is no bond between them. He's actually playing with that fool and she does not even know. Listen, you see, Jeku as a young man who is um, doing well for himself. He's just, uh, you know, making the best, you know, doing the best with his time. As he waits for the suitable woman and I can tell you that you are that suitable woman for him. I don't think you really know what's happening. I mean, 
he promised, I heard, he promised to marry her. And this is coming from a reliable source. <laughs> and which reliable source is more reliable than myself? I am the reliable source and I am telling you what is happening here now. You need to know something, eh? Women who are women, they don't take to heart what men say to them just to get them into the bed. Because they know that the truth will always come out at the end. That's it. Okay, I think I should just wait and allow time to play in part. Exactly. And let me tell you something. The time <laughs> is not far. <laughs> what I am telling you, you can take to the bank. <laughs> Your car. Uh, the brakes, the brakes of the car. Remember, I told you I took it to the mechanic. Mm. He hasn't finished working on it. But I don't want to drive with a faulty brake. You know, yeah. Safety. I understand. But you really need to fix the brake as soon as possible. You know, if you were driving, that which wouldn't have stopped you to say all those things she was saying. Augustina, that one is a mad woman. She's gone mad. Listen, she should better stop it all because left to me, I'll just I'll just warn her, like stop her and attack her, <laughs> and just give her a taste of her own medicine. No, please, please, don't get into a fight with that mad woman. I don't want her to hurt you. Because, 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 because. Is that what you think? Hey, hey, see, I'm not that soft though. You think she will, she will hurt me? Wait, you think you think if you keep me and Augustina now for you free for all fights, she will now hurt me? Uh, but slow down, that... slow down, slow down, slow down. It doesn't matter what I think. What I'm, I'm saying is that so if I leave you now, you get into a fight with a mad woman. Huh? No, now. Sometimes it's best to just avoid the devil. You know, let her just go with her troubles. Mm. Please, don't worry. No matter what she does, she cannot put her son down here. Exactly. Huh? She can try. Oh, yes. Yeah, but she, she will, will try. not succeed. She will never succeed. Mm -hmm. Ignore her. Uh, yes. Yeah, we'll it's we'll uh -huh. <laughs> Papa, you're coming with me home. No. Oh, what? What do you mean? No, you don't need to get in trouble with my mother. No. So, see, I'm sure she doesn't even know I'm out of the house. I need to get back home before she realizes I'm not home. I miss you now. Come on. It's been a while. Besides, my mom is complaining that she has not seen me for some time. Uh huh. But well, I can't come with you now. So you want me to get in trouble? You're not mom. getting in trouble. I can't do that intentionally now. Eh? You just come. I won't. I won't waste your time. Eh? Besides, you can also tell your mom that you went to see your mother and a lot to be. I got like it, well. I got like it. Yeah. You'll be happy. Okay, I'll come with you. Hi! Okay, boom. Okay, boom. You know, I can say no to you. Okay, boom. I can say no to Okay, boom. Aha! Yeah, he is. Ah, welcome. Good afternoon, sir. I greet you. Good afternoon. Uh, Jebu, uh, Rose here came to see you and uh, he, has, he has been waiting all day. Where did you go? Well, she's here to see me? Yes. Yes, I did. I came to say hi and also to discuss something with you. But um, it's obvious you're busy. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> and, well, I, I think the best way to handle this is that um, you see her off. So that both of you can discuss in that process. Don't worry about your guest. I will take care of her. That's if she doesn't mind. I know, sir. Of course not, sir. I, I don't mind, sir. I'll just um, greet Mama. Then I'll go, sir. Okay. Is, is that okay by you, baby? Is yes, baby. It's fine. Sure. It, it's okay if you don't want to see me off. I'll find my way. No, 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 no. You are, you are, you are the person that uh, yeah, you come to see. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay, then. All right. Be going. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'll see you later. No problem. So you said you wanted to discuss something with me? Yes, I wanted to discuss something with you, but it's not like it's serious though. Oh. If it's not serious, then why did you bother to come all the way? Oh no, I mean it's serious to me, but I don't know if it will sound serious to you. Just get to the point, what is it? Okay, um, I want to learn a skill to support my business. Something that will give me steady flow of income so that when I eventually get married, I'll be able to support my husband in taking care of our children. So why would you think that I am the best person to come to for something like this? 
Jeku, I have watched you from afar. You are an intelligent and hardworking young man, of which I believe you're the right man for me. What? The right man for you? How? Oh no, I mean the right man to get advice from. Okay. Yes. I've heard you. I'll think of everything that you have said and I'll get back to you. Okay? Really? Thank you so much, Jeku. You're so kind. It's fine. <laughs> I it's am fine. grateful. I want to go back from here. It's okay. I'll be in touch. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh. All right. Take care. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You jumped my brother too fast. Oh yes, uh, <laughs> was I supposed to take her home? <laughs> well, I think it's good for us to have this discussion now. Yeah, uh, uh, how about it, Mama? I, was she able to see Mama? She wanted to see Mama. Why are you getting yourself entangled so much with somebody who is going to be a liability? Why? Ooh, okay. <laughs> As you must have noticed, I like Noma a lot. You know, I... I like her. I mean, she's been with me for some time now. I have actually fallen deeply in love with her. And um, when we get married and start a family, I believe that it's my job to take care of her. So, it's not a problem. So, what you are telling me now is that you are prepared to end up with somebody who you are going to be providing for perpetually. Somebody who is going to be a liability full time. Instead of you to, you know, think of somebody that will be a helper. Who is going to assist you get up there. Is that what I'm saying? Um, I don't see how Norma is going to pull me down, Uncle. That's a woman that I love. We're not just lovers, but we're friends. We are compatible. She has a lot of respect for me. You know, uh, I understand her too perfectly. So I call her my perfect companion. The hard-working son of my lead brother. The one I hold as a son. The one I hold in high esteem and the one we consider to be a star in our family. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bob. But you need to understand that love is not enough for marriage. You see that thing you call love? It is never enough to sustain marriage. I want you to always bear that in mind. Well, I know that, but you have also just um, described me as hard work. And since that is true, uh, my hard work will provide for me and the normal. You know, to the best of my knowledge, that girl is not even a graduate. She has no talent. She has no handiwork. All she does is move around the town looking for somebody who she's going to gossip with. Why will you make up your mind to settle down with somebody like that? Because my mind is made up. That's why. Married into your family will be the very one that will put the last nail on your coffin. I don't understand. Uh, you are confusing me. It is not confusing, Nanny Evan. It is not confusing. It is not confusing. To you, it might sound confusing, but it is not. 
Anya na ba de afu mu anya fu alu zo po ni ike. Look at it. What are you doing like that? In the process of breaking this cooler knot, a revelation came up. Okay. I saw a woman. Yes, one. A woman. That woman is coming to put an end to you. Yes. It is very, very clear. Very clear. Which woman is that? That woman that they will marry into your family will be the one that will put the last nail on your coffin. I am a my late brother's son, who I call my son, is actually the only one in our family who most likely will be marrying a wife. Is he the one you are talking about? Whichever way, one of you was a mother. That is entirely yours to figure out. You are the one that will run the permutation. Hey. Simple. Hey. So, so Jeku is the vessel that they have positioned in my family who they will use to destroy me. And I let me tell you, instead of any vessel to destroy me, I am going to destroy that vessel itself. Whichever way, whichever way you want to get the problem solved is entirely yours to sort out. It does not concern the gods, neither does it concern my humble self. That woman is coming. That woman is coming to put an end to you. Hmm. And that you must stop. You have powers. You have already acquired powers, great powers that can protect you at all times, anywhere, anytime. But, but, the coming of that woman, the coming of the woman, That woman is coming with a presence. A presence that will make nonsense of all your protective measures. And that you must stop. Yeah. You must stop that and have peace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am still that Ubefia Madi Ebobe of Umitem. There is nothing that will ever happen that will make me to be afraid of anybody. Not to talk of being afraid of a woman. Not at all possible. I am going to pin this very woman you speak of. I will pin her. And I'm going to make sure she will never be married into my family. Well, Lord. Can't he listen to me? There is no way I will allow this to happen. But I am convinced that the only way to prevent this from happening is to be the one who must find him the wife. He is going to marry. This evil girl. This evil woman, Anyana Fuishi, is talking about <laughs> must be this slow poison called Noma. 
she must be the one. some sense into him. I am so certain that I am not the only one who wants the best for this family. I'm not the only one. Father, what is the problem? Why will you be encouraging your son to build any relationship with that liability when we have an industrious daughter of this land who is willing to be his wife? Why are you encouraging him? Father, I don't understand. What don't you understand? Have you not been the one hosting that um, that useless and normal in this compound as a potential daughter in law? Why will you be encouraging your son to build anything with a liability? Who has all it takes to bring him down? Why? Because they're in love with each other. So, because they're in love, you're not going to allow Jebu to be married to a liability who has the potentials to destroy? How can you be saying that kind of thing? Jebu is no longer a child. I can't decide uh, who he marries and who he, he doesn't marry. No, 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 you can decide. And I want you to talk to him. Sit him down and talk sense into him. Let me tell you something, eh? I am doing everything possible to make sure that this family is up there. That the progress of this family is guaranteed. And I wouldn't want anybody to bring us down. So talk some sense into Jebu. He must not continue doing anything without the normal. But they love each other. Stop telling Jeku about love. What is love? We are talking about progress. We are talking about the prosperity of the family. We are talking about love. Are you going to eat love? Are they love really? Talk to your son. But you will be well. I know what I'm saying. You won't understand. You see, I've been having a recurring dream about someone, and it scares me to my bones. Ha! Ah. Who is this person? Hmm. Why does the dream scare you? Hmm. His name is Jacob, a young man of this land. I mean, in my dream. I saw him being dragged closer to a coffin by the woman he loves. Ah! Rosalyn, I hope this is not one of your mischievous acts. Huh? Hmm. I know people like you will not believe me. Mm -hmm. But that would not stop me from saving Jeku from the hands of that wicked Norma. Ah! I said it. I knew it. I just knew you were up to something mischievous. Rosalind, I noticed the way you looked at Jeku. The day we saw him with Nyoma. Eh? Then I knew you were up to something. Why would you insinuate a thing like that? Mm. Me, Rosalind. Yes. I don't even like the young man. No! Oh, really? Yes! <laughs> so, I just want to make sure he survives whatever that wicked Nyoma is planning. That's it. I mean, I want to save his life. Hi! See, that girl pretends to be who she's not. But I know her. Deep. I saw it. Ah. That girl is a good girl. And that girl cannot hurt a fly. So I think that this your dream is influenced by malaria. Yes. But well, I won't blame you because you're not a believer. 
I don't care. Whether you believe or not, it will not stop me. You see, the most important thing is that Jacob's life is in my hand. Mm -hmm. And I will do everything possible to make sure he lives. Yes, Rosalind, <sighs> leave Jacob alone. Leave him alone. He loves Norma and they are good for each other. So I think that you should take this, your prophetic dream, to your own soul. Because if you're hungry, you go to the kitchen, you have something to eat. I know you're hungry, that's why you came to my house. Go and, go and eat, go and eat, please. Allow me with my thoughts. Mm -hmm. I actually went into the market to buy some things for you and your brother. It's not easy walking around that big market. Oh, How nice thing. of you, but thank you. I, must you always stress yourself to buy something for me and my mother each time you go If I fail to stress myself for you and your mother, who then should I stress myself for? Yeah. Yeah, of course, I don't. Listen, I, it's actually one is for you, oh, and you. then uh, one is for your mother. Thank you. And you may need to keep the man. Uh, there is something I need us to discuss about your business. Ah, yes. Okay. If you don't mind, just keep them. Let's 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 talk here. All right. I'll be back. No problem. Rose, <laughs> Mama. Ah. It's all that you're in my house. Am I safe? Ah, of course. You're very safe. How have you been? I've been fine. Okay. Can I see? Of course. <laughs> Are you alone? Yes. My parents have gone to their shops. Okay. I believe you'll be wondering why I came here. <laughs> to be honest with you, I am very surprised <laughs> to see you in my house. I know. It is well. Believe me, I never planned on coming here. As a matter of fact, I had no idea I can do something like this. But life happens. I don't understand. You're, you're confusing me. What do you mean by it? life happens? Um, Noma, do you have a grudge with Jeku? I mean, your boyfriend. Do I have a grudge? <laughs> Wait, where is this coming from? You're asking me if I have a grudge against my own boyfriend. I don't understand. Well, um, <clears throat> I just want to tell you that it is better for you to leave him now. If you're having any issues with him. Than to end up planning something bad against him. Wait, wait. Are you mad or something? Like, have you gone local upstairs? Is something wrong with you? Hey, how dare you? How dare you walk into my house and tell me this about my boyfriend? Are you mad? No, no. Maybe it has not happened yet. But please, I am begging you. Do not hurt Jacob. Please, no matter what he does to you, I beg you. Believe me, it is not worth it. You know what? Come and go. I will leave. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Leave him now before you end up hurting him in future. Listen, I swear by my grandparents' grave. If you don't leave this house right now, I will do something with this. Get out! I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, Mama. Like I said, 
leave him now. You think I'm talking? Just leave my house! I have leave me! I just came to tell you! said that to you. Yes. I actually wanted to ignore her. But I could not. You know how people say that there is no smoke without fire. How would she say that kind of thing to me? Forget about Rosalie. She's obviously delusional. Just forget about her. I cannot forget about her. I cannot. See, she's your friend. Can you just find out from her why she said those things to me? Those things really worry me. Like, I'm still worried and I'm still thinking about it. I can't forget it. Please, just, just ask her. Please, there must be a reason why she said that. <sighs> Nyama, I know why she said what she said to you. But please, don't allow uh, propaganda to distort the, the peace in your relationship. Eh? Wait, wait, don't. Wait, wait. You know why she said those things to me? So why don't you want to tell me? You want to keep them from me too? Are you not my friend? Please, I beg you. Can you just tell me, please? I'm really bothered about what she said to me. And I want to know why. I want to know why she said them. Please. Please. Okay. Fine. She says she's been having dreams. Where she saw you dragging Jacob to his coffin. God forbid. God forbid. I, I told her she needs to treat malaria. Me? Yes. Drag Jacob to his coffin. God forbid. I will never do that. How is that even possible? Exactly. That's why I told you to forget about her. Ignore her. Eh? Her dreams are useless. And moreover, not all dreams are true. How can I even do that? Jeku that I love with all my heart. I will never hurt him. Never. Exactly. What in this life? Exactly what I told her. Hmm? <sighs> Can we stop talking about Rosalie? Let's talk about something important. For instance, tell me about Jacob. Well, Jacob, I want you to understand that I am no longer comfortable with the fact that you are here in this village, toiling night and day, working so hard without anything tangible to show for it. I'm no longer comfortable with that. Uh, well, it is possible that you have not noticed that I am not, um, I'm not like um, the young men you have in this town who are not, uh, should I say, contented with what it is they are doing. I think that I am doing okay. I have been able to set up a block industry and it is not um, doing badly at all. Block modern facility, you mean? <laughs> Come on, Jeku, stop. What you have is not an industry. So don't confuse me with the word industry. It is a block modern outlet that you just configured. It's not, it's not something you should be doing. Oh, well, it's a great business. Don't really go my humble beginnings. Uh, but really, what is the essence of this uh, conversation? I'd like to know. Because I insist that what I have is an industry. That have been able to to hire four able-bodied men who mold blocks every day for our customers and you know someone like you who is like a father to me shouldn't be talking down on my business well that is it someone who is like a father and then um, 
I need you to understand that uh, I have taken a decision as a father. Because uh, you need to you need to be up there. That's why I have decided that uh, we are going to sell one of the family lands. The entire money will be given to you for you to relocate to the main market and go into importation business with the money. Are you serious? I am very serious. Listen, I have, I have monitored you. I have seen how industrious you are. I have seen hard, how hard working you are. I have seen how you have been very diligent in managing small things. And I am so convinced that if given an opportunity to do something big, that you are not going to disappoint. That's why I have decided that we are going to sell one land, very good land, and then give you the money for you to do something big. That's it. I didn't see this one coming. Uncle, thank you. Thank you so much. It's something we have to do for the family. I'm grateful. Thank you. Jacob, good morning. Yeah, Rosalind, good morning. How are you? I'm, I'm not okay. I'm sorry to have barged in on you this early. I couldn't sleep well last night. Why? I had a terrible dream about you. And in that dream, you were literally begging me to save you because the woman was dragging you close to your coffin and I was the only one to save you. You had a dream about me? Yes. And I was begging you to save me? Yes, Jiku. And it seemed like I was the only one mm. to save you. Oh, well. Like you have just said, it's a dream. I don't see why you're worried. Cheko, it's not just a dream. I've been having exactly the same dream. At first, I wasn't taking it seriously. But then when it became frequent, I knew I had to do something about it. Frequent? Yes. Have you taken malaria medicine? Oh my goodness, Cheko, I don't have malaria. See, my dreams, it comes like a revelation. Mm. And ironically, it always comes to pass. Mm -hmm. So please do not take it lightly. I beg you. Well, there is nothing to be taken lightly because it's just a dream. And I don't know why you're worried about it, really. I beg you, please do not ignore this. I can't sit back and watch anything bad happen to you. You are a good person. And I'm ready to help you if only you will allow me. Uh, Rosalind, let me ask you why why are you holding on so much to, to this revelation, this dream that you have? Like, why, why do you believe in it so much? I, for a second, let's uh, assume that I agree with you. Okay. How do you intend to help me? Oh, that's simple. If only we get close to each other. Right. I mean, very close. <laughs> then whatever it is that wants to hurt you or harm you, mm. we don't have the opportunity to. Because I will save you. Right. Yes. Because they stop it. Okay. This is why you showed up here this morning. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm not interested. Okay. I'm fine. I don't need your help. No. I don't believe in that dream, so it would not have an effect on me. Jacob, please, I beg you. This is serious. I'm only doing this for your own good. Because you already promised to help me. Remember? I was actually getting ready for work before you showed up. Who's there? Jacob? Have a good day. Rosa, Rosa, Rosaline. <laughs> Sister Augustina, good morning. Tell him a good morning. 
and never distract me from what I have to say to you this morning from the most high Jehovah to you Rosaline you need deliverance you need Jehovah in your life very important Augustina don't you get tired eh? don't you get tired you say you are born again Yet, you go about tormenting people. What is it? Eh? Are you not tired of tormenting me in this town? What have I done to you? Eh? <laughs> tormenting is for the evil spirit. Yeah, you are evil. I'm not tired yeah, you are. spirit. I will tell you the way it is from the straight above. You need deliverance from those demented spirits. Those evil spirits that, that have said this is your two leg, this is your two crooked leg, crooked, who can't be one, who not stay one place. This two pepper leg, leg, who not stay one place. You need to be delivered from those spirits. Hi! Eh? Because, who could not have one, one, one? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, It is obvious, very obvious that you are lonely and frustrated. Hmm. Can George you? When last did you meet the man? Jehovah. Uh, Jehovah! Jehovah! Please, 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 do not drag me along with your frustration. Have you heard? Where were you going to? Go. Mind your business. You don't want Leave me alone. What then is? Ha! That I cannot, can never take insult from you nor anybody around here. Eh. I will not take it. Eh. Be very careful. What will you do? Wait, 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 wait. Oh. You want to fight me? You like this? Eh? <laughs> One more insulting word from you. Ngosugu, that heaven, hellfire, and war, that was the same thing. Even Pagatri. What am I saying? I am not that one that will hear. I will slap you here. I slap you here, and you will go in peace. No, you will go in pieces. Listen and listen good. You cannot do anything to me. Ah, what is it? Oh, is it because I I look calm, gentle, and beautiful? Is that why you're jealous of me? Eh? Let me tell you something. Hmm? If you try me again. You see those forces that have possessed you, eh? I will beat them out of your body straight! No! What? 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 I was here, they give me a cold shoulder. It does not matter. Relax. Okay, you're here for me. You're here to see me. Okay, if there's anyone's reaction you should be worried about, it's me. Do you understand? I know, but I'm scared. I, I, I don't know. What are you scared? Come on, let's go. Let's okay, go. Um, wait, let me ask you. What? Did you, did you um, hear about Rose? Did I tell you she came to my house? Rose. What? She came to tell you about her silly dream? Oh, you know about the dream too? She came here. That girl is retarded. She came here. I told her to cure malaria. <laughs> Is that why you're worried? What are you worried about this? Dream? No, I'm not. Are you sure? I, I, I'm, 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 hey, very, I'm kind of bothered about it. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's just a dream. But I, I, need, but you what? To, I need you to know something. That what? See, I, I would never, I would never hurt you in my life. Never, never. Seriously. And I <laughs> trust you with all of my life, Norma. You worry too much. Eh? Come on, let's go. <laughs>
called you out here this night because there is something we need to discuss with you. An elder should not sit at home and watch the pregnant goat deliver in theater. Jehu, you are like the, the eyes of this family. And we hold you in high esteem. There is no way we are going to sit back and watch. Seeing that you are about to make a very wrong choice. Mom, what is it again? Chikuji, your father and I called you here because of the danger that lurks around you. Your father saw a seer. The seer told him that Norma will bring you to your end. That is why we called you here. It's not only that. It is something that has lasted for a very long time. I have been receiving different, different ministrations from different people. And all of them are pointing to the same thing. That this particular girl you are insisting you must marry is going to bring you down. You see this beautiful light that you are going to bring into this family. That girl is going to dim it. And we don't want that to happen. We called you here to let you know that if actually you are insisting that you must marry, that Rosaline should be the one you should be looking at because she is the one who is going to take you up there. Mom. What I'm going to say is simple. No seer can determine my destiny. I love Anama with all of my heart, and I am going to marry her. What is wrong with you? Does it mean you have not been listening to me or something? No, are you saying you are not going to take what I have explained to you right now? What I am saying is that it's my life. And no one should tell me how to live it. Uncle, I'm going to live my life. As I deem it fit. I make a mistake, I live with the consequences. Okay, what if this mistake is one that is going to cost your life? No. How are you going to remedy that? No one dies without the approval of the gods. If it is my time to go, there is nothing we do to stop it that would work. And if it's not my time to go, there is nothing anyone does to kill me that would work. Mom, good night. Have you seen it? Has it all boiled down to the something I told you that he's not going to listen? You really need to talk to yourself. Talk some sense into yourself. My husband, this whole thing is too heavy for me. It's too heavy for me. It cannot be too heavy for you. He is your son. And you must sit him down and talk to him before it is too late. You must be delivered. It is a must. Since you have refused to hear the word, you must hear it. I will deliver you. Yes. That spirit that has hardened your heart, I must cast it out. You must be delivered. I must deliver you. I must deliver you. I must. What's the problem? Huh? What's the problem? Huh? You are looking for to flop. Augustina, you are looking for to flop. You are watching the Bible. Like, so, if I did not turn around now, like, you flop me. Eh? You flop me, Augustina. You flop me. I will cast that demon at you. You must be delivered. Augustina. You must be delivered. You are the one that will I will deliver you. You, you. Leave women alone. Leave women alone. Leave women alone. Yes. I should leave women alone. Yes. Augustina. You, you, you must be delivered. Augustina. I will deliver you. Yeah, it's not evil spirits like you said. 
that girl is battling with some mighty forces. What forces? She's battling with ignorance. People like you should make her understand that not everyone is connected to her nonsense. If she's mad, let her get help for her madness. Else, I, Jehu, I will treat her the hard way. That means you have not been listening to what I'm saying what from the beginning. Say? Look, Jehu, I know you are stubborn. But don't allow your stubbornness to push you to annoy that girl. Not to talk of hurting her. Else what? I wonder. What nonsense are you even talking about? Huh? What? She can hurt me. But I'm not allowed to hurt her. Why? Because she's a woman? So that means you have not been listening to what I've been saying. What have you been saying? Look, that lady is not an ordinary person. Forget the fact that she's uh, denying her powers by running under the church. Jeku, she's connected to the marine world. Yes. That is why people like you should tell her that not everyone is connected to the marine people like her. Huh? Let her know that if she tries that rubbish with me again, I would I would forget that she's a woman and I'll flog her mercilessly. What, what are you talking about? What are you sitting? Are you justifying her actions? I am not justifying her actions. That is what I am doing. telling you who she is. Who is she? Now listen to me. Jeku, listen to me. That girl is not an ordinary person. She has the powers to do a lot of things. Look, she, she is gifted. She's connected to the marine world. Jeku, be careful. Be very careful. When I am tired of this topic, let's talk about something. I'm so getting irritated. I'm finished talking. You better listen to that girl. You better listen to her because she will not tell you what she's not sure about. What is she sure about? The only thing that we're sure of here is that she's a mad woman. She needs psychiatric help. Jeku in And she should get help. Everybody knows that girl has powers. You're the only one who is denying not to know her prowess. What prowess? Okay. 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 What's the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? What's even wrong with that girl? What is wrong with her? Is she mad or something? Can't she just mind her business? Why does she have to poke her nose all the time in people's affairs? Why? Well, I made that point clear to her. The next time she raises that cursed cane on me, hmm. I'll deal with her. You know what? Do me a favor, my love. Just, just leave her for me. Mm. Leave her for me. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? Me? I am going to face her woman to woman. Uh, Let me face her. No. You know what? She thinks she's the only mad person. Mm. She doesn't know that all of us have madness in us. We are just hiding it. We have small craze. Let me show her small. I know, but I won't let you do that. Mm? Don't do that. Why would you not let me do it? Because I will handle it. No, listen, if you handle it, they will misunderstand you. They will think you want to fight her and it's wrong for a man to fight a woman. Let me do it. I get you, but I insist. I'll handle it. Oh, don't tell me this now. Don't say this. You always try I to calm me down. I I don't want, I don't want, I don't want anyone to scratch you. Okay? No one scratches on you. Let me handle this. Just uh, make sure it doesn't happen again. Okay. Uh, cool. Noah, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Thank you, sir. I want you to go back to your parents. I want to speak with Jehu alone. Now. Okay, sir. No problem, sir. Why? I don't want to see that girl in my house again. As you have refused to listen to me, I am now handling it my way. Your way? Yes. By embarrassing me in front of my guest, by asking my guest to leave in that manner. Uncle, that is uncivilized. Okay? I'm not a child. You don't have the right to tell me who to associate with and who not to associate. You're not my father. Even if my father were here, he would not do that to me, uncle. This is not nice. So now, because of a woman, you are going to remind me that I am not your biological father, right? That's it. I understand it. 
But I wouldn't want you to provoke me. I know why I'm telling you this. Do not provoke me, please. Yambo Gambo, Abo Miembo, Yambo Gambo, Gadi Hofabo, Yambo Gambo, Gadi Hofa, Baba Abu Ferro, Yambo Gambo, Gadi Hofabo, Nessie, Yambo Gambo, Gadi Hofabo, Yambo Gambo, Abo Miembo, Yambo Gambo, Gadi Hofabo, Yambo Gambo. Anyways, she caught me unaware. That was why she did that to me. And, and she, she just she just did it to me because I was not aware. I was not aware, but next time let her be fair. Let her come to me without that weapon. Then she will see that I will not beat her blue black. Nonsense. No man, but Ken is no weapon now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ken is no weapon, eh? Okay. No problem. Let her use that cane on you. Then you tell me if it's weapon or not. Ken is no weapon. Oh, wait. What did she say you did, Seth? Because I know she does not just flog anyone. She only flogs those that need to be delivered. That's how she does her own deliverance. Deliverance my foot. What kind of nonsense deliverance are you talking about? Which deliverance? What are you even saying? Did I tell her that I'm possessed? Am I possessed? She should not just try me again. See, that, 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 that girl is a witch. She's a very big witch. She's evil. Hey. Anyway, I'm waiting for her. No, ma. Stop saying that now. Eh? You know, it has been proven that she sees everything people say or do of her in secret. Oh, yeah. Biko, Acho Romun Subu Cha Cha Cha. I don't want trouble. Wait, wait. So you believe that nonsense? Hey, okay. hey Uwa. Uwa, let me ask you. What exactly do you refer to as nonsense? Hey, please. She doesn't see anything and she doesn't hear anything. She doesn't have... In fact, I don't even know which powers does she even have. She doesn't see anything. See, let her just come out on a good day without that cane. Then she will see what I will do to her. That they will know. <laughs> you couldn't even do anything in budget and you get back Eh, because she had it and now. Eh, and now you are here bragging. Listen. If you do not stop talking bad about that lady, I will just stand up from here and live in peace. I don't want trouble. Uh -huh. So what is still keeping you here now? Stand up and start going. Leave now. The only thing I want you to do for me is to tell her that I said that she should just wait for me. Oh. She should wait. Oh, yeah. You listen to me. You will not kill me because I did not kill my mother. I don't like what you're doing, Mama. Please. You must listen to me because I'm your mother. Mama, I don't like what you're doing, Mama. Please, now. You should allow me to live my life. What is this? What kind, of, what kind of trouble is this? You're not being anyone to listen to me as your mother. What is wrong with you? You must listen to me in this house. Mama, you know I listen to you. I listen to you at all times. You know that I listen to you, but this time around, I say no. What you're asking me to do is not right. No, Mama. Shukujeko, a wolf is your father. He took care of you. And he has been taking care of us since your father died. And he has been a good husband to me. Is this how you want to pay him back for all these things he has done? Really? Mama, so you want me to pay a wealthy back with my life and happiness? Mama, I don't like what you're doing. You're not being fair with your judgment on this subject. How can you say this to your son, Mama? You want me to abandon a woman that I love with all of my heart? Am I a total stranger because a wolf is said so? Because we have to pay him back. No, but Rosalind is not a stranger. She is a stranger to me, Mama. When your father came to pay my bride price, that was actually the first time I saw your father. In 1977. After that, we became friends and fell in love. Times have changed. Then give Rosalind a chance. So to get to know her better. Why you didn't be this difficult? Chico. I'm a man in love. My mind is made up. There's no way I'm living in normal. 
je ko mo bi kone ho juju i can't do it o yire ni ya i no do it mama Thank you. 